Infectiously cheery song. song. Huh. Here comes Danica over the airwaves to you! <laughs> Hello everyone! What was his voice before? Hello everyone. I don't remember. I've completely forgotten. I'm sorry. Welcome to Tanaka's Amazing Commodities! Grant her your desires! I don't know. This is Tanaka's Amazing Commodities, the mail order television program being broadcast is live to you! Specifically you, Renegade, no one else. We guarantee your purchase will meet your satisfaction for a fair market price. Now let's introduce the products available for these three today. I mean these two, whatever. It's Jingi Fundoshi times one, tie them tight to boost your vitality. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it's wonderfulness. I'll add Slimming Fu times two to your Jingi Fudoshi, all for the low price of only 11,800 yen. Oh shit, it's expensive. Got another fantastic product on the other day. Inaba Trout times one, a fresh fish combo. On top of this, I'll add Amber Sima times two to your Inaba Trout for only 2980 yen. These products are so popular, we can only allow one order per person. Which would leave you like to purchase today? Alright, oh, um, 11, 8, and then 2980. Um, well, one of them costs way more. I should probably buy that one. Makes more sense, I think. Let's buy the Jing. I know somebody wants a fish, but I don't think they mentioned the red fish the person wants, I think. And Jingi Fundoshi could be useful, so I'm always wanting new armor, I guess. Sure. It's more expensive, is the main reason I'm getting it. I can afford it. We bought Jingi Fenoshi, uh, it also has the Simmering Food times two. Or Simming. Whatever that does. Wow! We've sold through our entire stock! Thank you all so much for your participation in today's show! I like the background singing. I guess that's Japanese? Sounds a bit like English, but it's probably Japanese. Day sales over, but you'll get another chance for three days starting next Sunday! See you next time, same bat time, same bat channel. Hear the catchy song again. Here comes to knock over the hours to you. I don't know. It'd be funny to think he's the one singing. Turn off the TV. Okay, now anyone gonna call me? No, it doesn't. I guess it doesn't seem like it. All right, great. What's my money look like? Uh, nineteen thousand. Still got a decent amount. I got two new seedlings in stock today. First is crack weed. <laughs> uh, you want some crack? That sounds... Yeah. Stem is so strong yet supple that there's a legend of bandits using this stuff to open locks. Oh god. Oh my. Oh! That's weird. The other is Hiranya cabbage. Got the name because of the way the leaves look like something called Hiranya. I'm not sure what that means though. It's very high in nutrition, in fact. It's known as a herbal cure all. Father in law likes to juice these in a blender and drink them straight up. Me, well, I'm, you know. Okay. In any case, they're great if you're shopping in the garden. Give them a try. Um, let's get both. Thousand yen. Sure. Uh, sure, I'll get that one too. Cool. That's great. Sounds like fun. Well, alrighty then. So we have the key plants. That could be interesting. That reminds me, actually, I still gotta do the bonus boss over in Yukiko's dungeon. Hopefully, they don't force me to reset floors. That would suck. I guess I could probably check that, but I don't think they would make me do it. I mean, they're probably gonna make me reset the kanji floor, and they'll have another bonus boss there, but yeah. So let's look around then and start with the obvious place on days off. Nope. Had to check. Um, I t uh, actually, I can figure that out. That's right. Okay. Um, let's just do these in order. Oh, hey, there's a boy. I think it's gonna be that boy. Um, what was I gonna do? Oh, I wanted to check my social links real quick. Let me check. Um, where is she? Uh, young mother. Okay, Mondays, Fridays, and Saturdays are the daycare fit days. I had to double check that. So it's not today. Okay, there's a boy there. I guess I should talk to him. What? I don't have any money. Uh, I don't want your money. Oh, then never mind. You're not here for anything else then, right? 
I don't have any friends. Nobody ever wants to talk to me. Uh boy seems sad. He said he doesn't have any friends. Perhaps he's the one who wrote the Emma request the fox showed you, probably. Everyone talks about things I don't know about. Right now they're all collecting stickers. I have a sticker too, but they all said everyone has that one. Aw. If I had a rare sticker, I bet they'd become my friends. Don't try to win their affection through things. Why well, wants a rare sticker so you can make friends? That doesn't make any sense. Is that a sticker? Is it? Um, is it? Oh, when did I get this? I don't remember when I got this. Grand of your desires? Nice sticker can do that, then I'm sure to make friends. I have no idea when I got that sticker, but I guess I can give it up. Sure. Thank you! I'm sure to have lots of friends now. Boy ran off cheerfully. We make lots of friends, you should ask him another time. Okay, so I can't fulfill the request just yet. Uh, oh, shit. It's been very humid. It's absolutely horrid when you're older. And my daughter's family is getting noisy again. Chatting on about how I shouldn't be pushing myself. They look at me with their apologetic faces and say things like, Isn't it inconvenient for you at your age? I know I don't have too many years left, but I don't want everybody's pity. Gee, such silly things to worry about. By the way, I have a small favor to ask you, if that's alright. You're out. Yes, did you come across very many keys? Um, I do. To be honest, I'd like you to search for one. An old key at that. Please, don't ask why I need it. There's just something I need to open. Ah, thanks. Oh, yes, but about something you could never buy with money. How about something? What? Um. Uh, I'll look for it. Really? Well, I'm... I know you're not gonna just stumble on a key all of a sudden, but... I'm sorry, it bothers me. I can't help it. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'll stumble upon it. It's probably in Kanji's castle. Or bathhouse. Probably gonna be getting a bunch of new requests now to tell me to go back to Kanji's place. Um, are I supposed to do something with this cat? Meow. Yeah. This be the cat you've been told about? But you don't have any food to give. You need to come prepared. How do I get the cat food? It was definitely at the Konishi liquor store. I don't think I can go to the Konishi liquor store, so I'm not gonna be able to help you, buddy. I'll try again, but last time I tried, Memory of his bag, but I definitely couldn't do anything at it. Grateful if you oblige me. What? Uh, sure. Let me give me that total stranger. I'm much obliged. Yeah, thank you somehow. I know. Do you fish? Just let me uh, get this hook you found on and here. Yeah. All right, river rod. Nah, there's no need to be shy. It's old and this was a good opportunity, so I give up. I was planning on buying a new rod anyways. Just show me God. Use whatever you want. Oh, cool. Glad I talked to him randomly. Can I like fish now? She's a jazz fish. Uh, ooh. I could pass time. I'm not gonna do that just yet. I might do it later. Um, let's go into town. Let's see who else is available. I also gotta try and find out if I can get some cat food somehow. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, you dojima sons. You have to hear me out. Cabbage. There's no cabbage. What am I gonna do? My grandfather will refuse to eat anything that wasn't grown in Naba. I can help you out. Oh, you can? That's wonderful. What I need from you are three cabbages. I'm so glad to have your help. 100% Naba grown cabbage. Well, I could grow them myself, I guess. Okay, so it seems like Yosuke wants to hang out. I should probably do that, but I kind of want to do Dashi instead. I guess. Well, we'll see. We'll see who else is available. I also got to look into uh, the liquor store again, I suppose, and the cabbages. My cabbages! No, not the cabbages. The cat food. That's what I meant. The cat food. Um, oh god, I can do Chie. Oh god, Chie. You're great, but I can't do you every fucking time. Um, how do, where do I get the cat food? I see, it's hard to follow everything you read. Oh, what do cats eat? Well, fish, of course. I'm sure it would be happy if you give it a fish you caught. Oh, I see. Heard about that new book that's come out? The new book that you are on English Conversations and on Origami. If I understood English, I'd be able to buy but we're speaking of our well, the next shipment. Okay. I believe I have a fishing book, actually. Alright, um... Well, let's try and see if I can get some cat food somehow. Wait, no, that'd be fish. That's right, so I just gotta do some fishing. Oh, it's a shame I didn't get the fish thing, but it wouldn't have came for a while anyways. Let's see who else is an option. Just gotta know my options. Oh, and I gotta know my side quests. Hey, youngster, did you catch that thing on the TV? Kids these days, sheesh. 
I bet the one who went on a rampage is probably that Kanji from Tatsumi Yamabudubu. Simply deplorable. I mean, this is an old man, so I should make him so manly. He used to be such a kind boy when he was a child. Doesn't show any sign of stopping all you do. Stay and listen. All this world. Am I gonna get uh, rewards for listening to him? But the town really tires me out at times like this. A sauna would be nice. Yeah, saunas are great. But it's no good if you can't get coal. Problem is, I can't get my hands on any. Aren't there any kind of people who bring coal to an old man, huh? There's Jane concerns. A lot of worthless young punks out there, but you, boy, are different. Look forward to getting a report when you bring coal to me. Acquire coal. Alright, so this is the liquor store, isn't it? Liquor store. Can I, like, do anything with them? Can I... No, but, like, the liquor. This is the liquor store. How do I get alcohol? Yeah, see, I can't do anything with it. I thought so. I had to make extra double sure, but yeah, I can't. Uh, sure. Is this gonna waste time? Ooh, cat's there. Skies are clear. What kind of fish would be here today? Um, oh shit. When you've just bathed the river, you can attract red goldfish or genju ayu. You can attract genju ayu or amber sima. Red goldfish would actually be for the one chick at night. Um, I suppose I should... Okay. Uh, do I have to use a bait? I guess I do. Red crumbs. When a fish takes the bait, the bobber will sink into the water. When it's beneath the water, press the O button. Oh, shit. Was there a fish? Uh, oh, okay, so there wasn't a fish, I suppose. Okay, I wasn't very good at that. Um. Oh! What? What? Fish wiggled off your hook and escaped into the water. Current diligence, you can make two more attempts. Sure. Oh, well. I'm just testing the waters now. Yeah, testing the waters? Did I get anything? No. Yeah, I'm probably gonna undo this, but I gotta test it. Uh, once a fish bites, pay attention to the gauge at the bottom of the screen. Move the bobber left and right with the left analog stick. When the icon is in the blue area, hold the circle button to reel in the fish. Move the bobber left and right with the left analog stick. When the icon is in the blue area, hold the circle button to reel in the fish. Wait, no. When you hold the old button when the bobber is not in the blue area, the line will be stressed and the fish will pull away. When the line is stressed, the gauge will flash red and the line will snap. Careful not to hold the old button at the wrong time. No. If you're keeping the bobber in the blue area and holding the old button, you'll be able to reel in the fish. No. Oh, f it's just because of the fucking tutorials that fucked me over. Fish and snap, you're out of fish baits, time to go home. So that used up my day? I'm not okay with that. I learned how to fish, but uh, I'm not okay with that, no. Um, what, am I, what am I doing? I don't need to do that. I can just load game. Yeah, that was stupid. Uh, I thought it would waste time, but I don't want it to waste time. So, yeah. I also hated how the tutorials worked. You should have told me all at once instead of, Oh, while you're in the middle of doing this bullshit thing, I'm gonna tell you how it works. I could have told you before you started to not fuck up your rhythm, but instead I'm gonna let you fuck up once. So yeah, fuck that. Um, yeah, I have like, what, six chies already? How many? Yeah, I already have six. I can slow down a bit on chie. Um, so the choice is between doing a bit of Yosuke and doing a Dachi. Um, I feel like I can do Yosuke more often, which is why I want to do a Dachi, which would be another time of not doing Yosuke, but, yeah, hey, it is what it is. So let's go to, I might be able to fish at night, I want to test that out as well, but first, um, I'm gonna have to go through the tutorials again, probably, unfortunately. No pressure, Yosuke, man, you just, you don't have any luck, Dachi wants something, so okay. Oh. Huh, it's you! 
Good timing. Want to hang uh, around and talk for a while? Uh, that way, it looks more like I'm... Uh, strike that, okay? Dachi's slacking off. If you're a relationship with Dachi, he's going to become closer soon. Spend the day with the Dachi? Spend time with the Dachi. Yeah. Good for you. You're a good listener. The kind of gets promoted. Uh, yeah, that's not something to brag about. Dachi's smiling mischievously. Great. What are you doing? Shopping for dinner? I'm impressed. I live alone. Taking care of dinner can be pretty tedious. Um, why? Uh, I guess a high school kid wouldn't get it. I just get so tired after work. So I make cup ramen or something. That's understandable. Dodge no, doesn't seem to lead a uh, nutritionally balanced life. Reminds me of gumshoe. No one makes you dinner? Uh, want me to make you dinner? Oh, God. I don't want to go that way. But I don't want to be rude. Huh? Like, you come over to my house? <laughs> <laughs> that would be interesting. But I'd prefer a girl to come over. Yeah, I agree. What if we have a double date? Dachi's smiling softly. Mm-hmm. My cute girls are the best. Though I go for the real knockouts myself. The most important thing is that they should be good cooks. Everything else I can take or leave. What? <laughs> no, that's just plain weird. More importantly than all you want is a good cook. It doesn't matter if they're a female. Well, I mean, it does. But, uh, only for the sexy, but more importantly, you just want the food. Oh, you okay with her then? Jeez. Oh, oh shit, is that, um, your mother? That's right, we saw that before, didn't we? I don't know if that's her, though. Toru-chan, is that you? <sighs> she found me. Are you off work? I hope you're not doing anything dangerous. Uh, no, I'm still on the clock. Uh, I was just on my way back to the station. Not. I'm so happy to see you working hard. I brag about you to my neighbors all the time. I'll bring you some nimono, ni okay? You have to take care of yourself. Uh, by the way, I saw this detective show on TV the other day. <laughs> Uh-oh. The old woman seems like she'll be talking to her for a long time. I need to get back. Oh, is that, uh, is that time already? I hope your day goes well, then. You too, old timer. <sighs> Don't drink and drive. Don't cross the street unless you look both ways. Finally. I guess her son has the same name as me. Oh, shit. Is that not your mother? Or... Are you sure? Are you fucking with me? Maybe that's why she's been hanging around me ever since she found out. I don't know. Oh, okay. Really? So, you're, she's not your real mother. I mean, I guess she could be screwing with me, but it doesn't sound like it. She always brings huge heaps of that Nimona to the station. To talk your ear off, you let her. It's so annoying. Um, she cares about you. Really? I don't care if she cares about me. Give me a break. That just shrugs. <laughs> She's the exact opposite of my parents. I can't relate to people like that. Oh, they don't care about you? She's lonely, I guess. I don't think she has any relatives. I can't just ignore her either. It's part of my job. Police have been busy lately, so I'm the only one who can deal with her. Despite his griping, Adachi looks happy. I feel that like you've seen a new side of Adachi. Or Bosch 2.0. Alright. Toro Adachi Social Link has reached level 2. I've kind of thought now, I'm kind of thinking it'd be funny if I, like, never up Yosuke ever again. There's got to be some point where I want to up him, but it just seems like every time it's like, I want to, but it's like, no, I'd rather do that instead. Like, every time. It never fails. The power to create personas of the Jester Arcana has grown. I thought I wish I uh, shared a name with her grandson instead. I'm still only 27 after all. This is, uh, uh, what? Her son's like, what, 40, maybe? Well, I should head back. Or to Jima son, I'll really chew me out. See ya. See you later, Bosch 2.0. I think I'm using the point oh because I'm subconsciously thinking of that one show that I've never seen that I heard called like Tosh point oh or something, but never seen it. But I think subconsciously that's why I decided to go Bosch two point oh. But anyways, you watched uh, Dachi go back to work and then went home. So I can probably fish. Yeah, I can. But I'm not gonna do it tonight. Because if I did, then I would be skipping maintaining the garden. It's always good to maintain the garden. And remind me, you want the red fish, right? Came to offer my food to celebrate my child's seventh birthday. However, I can't get a red goldfish. Yeah. 
Oh, by the way, there was a strange net on the rooftop. Do you know about it? Um, no. I see. Oh, what? What? Oh, by the way, yes. I see. Well, please take this. Okay, butterfly net? What? Net on the rooftop of, of what? What? Who, oh, this rooftop? I mean... I'm confused. What? 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 Where's these keys? Okay. Key obtained for this new bathhouse. Key obtained for Yukio's bath bathhouse. Basic fishing. Okay, it considered a key? Rod, uh, the fishing free cues for, uh, okay, butterfly net. There seems to be a name written on it too, but it's faded. Well, shit, it'd be nice if I knew what it was. You spend time maintaining the garden? Yes. I'll go see the veggies! Then I'm gonna have to replace them tomorrow with probably the keys. We'll see. I wonder if we're ready yet. Um, I don't think so, not yet. Hey, bro, did you see the weird man on TV on Sunday? Uh, who? The TV? The, the, the uh, shopper guy? The one where people are seeing Grant of Your Desires? What does that mean, anyway? It means you get to lay the chicks. As in the birds. I like Juness's song better. Of course you do, because you're an obsessed fangirl. You really gotta get over that. It's your biggest flaw as a character. Actually, your biggest flaw as a character is your lack of flaws, really, but... That's your second biggest flaw. Every day is great at your Juness. Yeah, you didn't even sing at that time. Oh, okay, I'm closer to Nonko. Carefully tend the vegetables. Diligence increased. Great. You should be able to expect a higher yield in tomorrow's harvest. Super. Next day. Oh shit. He's ready? Uh, hi there. Alright, Kanji. Are we gonna get into level up in the fool team, among other things? Oh my god, that snark was hilarious. I just love how I looked at the de the, tie the dex. The, the dex? The text. And it said snark, and I heard it, and I'm like, wow. Well, um, I didn't know you guys were my senpai. <laughs> Fucking using those terms, like... I mean, I guess, I, I guess there's some importance to it, but it just feels weird. Even when it's, you know, you know it's translated from Japanese. Really? Senpai? You could say, like my upperclassmen, but I, I guess Senpai works fine. It just feels weird whenever they use those Japanese terms. Uh, thanks a bunch. No problem. Though, I don't really remember what happened. I'd say don't mention it, but you probably don't want to anyways. There's some things we'd like you to tell us about. Oh god, she said that really, um, entrancingly, like an evil seductress. First off, who was that boy you met with? That is an important question. I really don't know much about him. You seem kind of into him. <laughs> I mean, I've only met him twice. Yeah, but you walked home from school with him. What did you guys talk about? Yeah, when we were trying to eavesdrop on you. Uh, well, he just asked stuff like uh, if anything different happened lately. Yeah, I think he is investigating them on on his own, and then we're probably gonna get him involved too at some point. But I wondering who he, I wonder who he is. I wondering. I don't know where my head was at. When I came to my senses, I blurted out that I wanted to see him again. <laughs> uh, you got feelings for him. To a guy. <laughs> We've seen his negative side, we know. I, uh, I don't really get it myself. Girls are so loud and obnoxious, so, you know, I, I really don't like dealing with them. Well, they're not all loud and obnoxious. I mean, Chia is kind of like that, no offense. Yukiko's not really like that. And to be fair, I still don't know if that guy is really a guy. Because he definitely could be a girl, from what I've seen of him, and heard of him. I'd have to see more of him to know for sure. I wouldn't be surprised if he's a girl pretending to be a guy so he gets taken seriously. You guys are a lot more laid back. <laughs> so, uh, I started thinking, 
What if I'm the type who never gets interested in girls? And then he turns out to be a girl, and you're like, well, shit, I did get interested in a girl. And I couldn't accept that, so I kept spinning around and around in my head. Well, I can understand the part about feeling more relaxed around dudes. Yeah, but just because you feel more relaxed around dudes doesn't mean you want to do the dudes. Um, how are you feeling? Have you calmed down? Do you not like girls? That's insensitive. Um, how are you feeling? Have you calmed down? Uh, I'm fine now. I mean, it was all in my head when you get down to it. I was the one shutting out that stuff. Indeed. So, uh, our family's run a textile shop for generations. Oh yeah, you, you already knew that. I don't even really know what that is. Textile. I guess it just, does it just have to do with clothing and stuff? Or is it more than that? My parents are kind of weird. They, they say stuff like, Dyes are one with the universe, and cloth is alive. <laughs> and that's the kind of house I grew up in. So I've been interested in sewing and stuff since I was a kid. Makes sense. The second I say stuff like that, people look at me funny. Because guys aren't supposed to like sewing. It, yeah, it's a common stereotype. Girls make fun of me. The people in the neighborhood treat me like I'm some zoo animal. So I was sick of everything. People are jerks. And when I got to my senses, I was running wild. Weird senses if that's what happened when you got to them. Shit, what is with me today? I'm going on and on about myself. It's good. Open up. Uh, forget all that. Man, I must look really lame right now. Eh, only a little lame. Um, yeah. Don't act like a big shot. You're really pretty cool. Uh, oh, I don't want him to get into me, but, uh... Um... <laughs> I doubt it. Oh, you're not gonna get into me? <laughs> <laughs> I've never talked about any of this stuff before. Guess I never had anyone to tell it to. Oh, that's nice. It's just like that kid who wanted friends that I helped out. I guess I wasn't really afraid of girls. I was just scared of people in general. Mm-hmm. But all that's behind me. And now you're gonna be part of our super squad. Wow. I'm surprised. You're a good kid. What, you're just gonna judge him by the stereotype? Uh, don't, don't call me a good kid. Oh, what? You're gonna get start getting feelings for a girl now? <laughs> or are you just regularly embarrassed? Although, I mean, to be fair, you are younger than us, even though you look older. <laughs> <laughs> no need to get embarrassed. You're a big guy. You can take it. <sighs> hey, is there anything you remember after you ran into us the second time? Ah, oh, yes, the kidnapping. You know... After you chased us away and said you were going to take us down? Huh? Uh, I went home. And then? I was going to sleep it off in my room. Wait, I, I think someone came... Yeah? To your house? Who was it? Uh, well, it was just a feeling I had. I, mean, I don't know if anyone actually came. So you didn't see them? Other than that... I remember some weird, dark entrance thing. Like the TV? And when I woke up, I was laid out on the floor of that sauna place. Alrighty. Dark entrance. Could it have been a TV? Most likely. Huh? Now that you mention it, maybe so. Uh, why do you ask? Because that would make sense. Oh, no reason. I was just wondering. Did the police ask you anything? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Well, my mom had called the cops to look for me, so they questioned me for a while. Oh, that's right, because you don't want the police to know stuff, right? I told them exactly what I just told you. And they looked at me like I was crazy. Oh, about the TV? Oh, okay. At least you tried telling him. That's a good thing. But, I mean, we could actually show them proof. We could go in the TV. So, like, are you guys 
playing detective or something? Yep, that's exactly what we're doing, because we're dumb idiots who aren't going to tell the police. Unlike you, well, actually, no, even you could actually prove it if you wanted now, because you have your own persona. Um, I mean, you didn't do anything wrong, and the police weren't, weren't wrong for uh, laughing it off. But we are wrong for not continuing on it. Like, no, no, seriously, watch. I can totally stick my hand in the TV. This isn't magic. This is... Anything I can do to help? There's some bastard out there who put me through this. I ain't gonna rest until I make him pay. Makes sense. Seriously? Awesome. You'd make a great addition to our team. You know who else would make a great addition? All the police force. That would easily we could easily tell about. You know, if we actually showed them proof, which wouldn't be hard, but no, let's not do that. Let's just rely on the still continue to rely on the five of us. And hope we never actually die. Because if we do, I mean, if we do, we can just reset our game. It's no big deal, right? Because, you know, resetting our game is a thing. Not for you guys, it's not. That's why it's so stupid. What do you say, leader? <sighs> and, of course, it's always going to be about that must. Um, of course he can. Thank you, sir. I'll put my life on the line for you guys. Don't say that so... My, like, mildly. Like, this isn't... I mean, it's just a game, but for you guys, it's not just a game. And that's the whole point. Is... Ugh. I'll do my best. Uh-huh. Kanji Tsumi joined your group. Well, that's great. You'll definitely be a strong asset in solving the case. You know who else would be a strong asset? <sighs> I don't know if I'm ever going to drop that. They better freaking bring that up. Eventually, it better, it better come back to bite them in the butts so they never told the police. The police better find out eventually. I mean, I am sure they will. It's just whether how they're going to handle it. Will they act like they were stupid? Will, will, will it come back to bite them in the butt? They, it better. It better not be like, oh, you were smart all along for doing that. That would be retarded if they do that. Even if later on it's like, oh, it turns out the, the bad guy was part of the police and, and it was a good thing you didn't, they should still be like, well, in the end you should have. And it can raise like moral questions or... Or, like, like, were they really right? I mean, in the end, they did the right thing, but they didn't know they were doing the right thing. I mean, they thought they were doing the right thing, but it was actually the wrong thing if they had... I mean, it could raise questions if it did, did turn out the bad guy was in the police, but, um... They still kind of should be telling at least the people in the police close to them. I don't know. The investigation team social link has reached level 4. Powder Cape Persona, the full arcane has grown. Well, if we're gonna welcome aboard a new member... Should we take him to our special headquarters? We have a special headquarters? What, you mean Teddy? We're still calling it that? What, Juness? What? What's that? <laughs> Come on, let's go. Okay, okay. Oh, yep. Yeah. Man, you eat a lot. Were you listening to what we were saying? Huh? Well, sure, I was, I was listening. I was lifted. <laughs> oh, close your mouth. Mm. So, uh, what? So someone's killing people with the TV? What? What, what is he beating them to death? <laughs> not quite. Also, there's so many people around. I mean, I guess there's the idea. Well, maybe not paying attention. But hey, what if the freaking person who's been killing people is here, listening to us now? Do we really have to have this? As there, like, so many things about this whole scenario are just. Like, not telling the police, having our discussions, should be private discussions out in the open, constantly having to go in the TV in June S instead of, I don't know, buying the TV. Um, uh, it's just so many things about it are icky. No, they weren't being beaten with a TV. Were you listening at all? <laughs> oh, don't worry. He'll understand once he sees the place with his own eyes. Yeah, I guess he doesn't have the full picture yet. Get it? Full picture? But the way it happened was just the same as with Yukiko. The killer kidnapped him first, then threw him into the TV. Yeah, it's scary. I know. If it was even a little scarier, maybe we should tell the authorities about it or something crazy like that. Maybe I'm insane. That show's been pretty crazy lately, huh? Oh, hey, we're even overhearing someone talk about it. Yeah, I keep wondering who'll show up next. 
If anyone in these five people gets mad at them, I'm gonna get mad at that person. Because they don't know the truth. There's no way they could know the truth. We're keeping it from the fucking public. I knew before I came on that he'd be the next one to appear. How'd you know that? What's that dude's name? That first year who used to be in a biker gang? Okay, Kanji's allowed to get mad at them now. Who the hell do you think was next? <laughs> His name is Kanji Tatsumi. Yup, yup. <laughs> and he wasn't in a biker gang. He's the one who beat the shit out of those leathered up pansies. Psst. Yep, distinction, get it right. So who are you, dipshits? <laughs> oh, Kanji. I like him. <laughs> Boring. <laughs> I can't stand it. And what? Sure, they have no idea it's related to the murders, but still, how can they talk about their schoolmate like that? You were talking about him like that before, too! Fuck you, you hypocrite! Uh, okay, I know it's Chie, but, and I like her, but it's just the whole mentality. Like, you even said so. They had no idea it's related to the murders. Also, all of us were thinking what a delinquent he was before he was um, kidnapped and we actually got to meet with him. So, we were talking that way, too. Like, there's no... Excuse. You can't act now like, oh, I mean, I mean, sure they don't know, and sure we did the same thing back when we didn't know, but it's bad now because we know, which makes it bad for them, even though it was fine for us. Or something stupid like that. I mean, hell, we already knew about the connection. We were still bad mouthing him. Yeah. They're like onlookers at a car crash. As long as it's not happening to them, they're dying to see. Damn, this sucks. We don't even know who's going to be targeted anymore. You know who might help us get some of that information? Maybe somebody who's good at analyzing situations like this. We could probably get that information if we talk to someone related to the police! This case disproved our assumption that all the victims are female. Indeed. You know who might help us get a better idea of what the connections are? The police! What was the other thing we thought they had in common? The police! Wait, no, that's not right. People involved in the initial case about Miss Yamano are the targets. How about that? Exactly. I think it's correct. I don't think it holds up. We still don't know. It's the police! That's my answer. Um, we still don't know. I guess it's too early to say if we're wrong about that one. But that announcer was involved with their mothers, not them. Indeed. You guys saying you don't have any clues? Oh well, yeah, I mean, it would help if we were actually professionals! Well listen up, cause I got something big. Oh shit. What's that? Is it your penis? Okay, when I made my comeback at school today, there was an annoying brat hanging around. Your comeback at school? Oh, I see. <laughs> okay. Turns out, he was snooping around about senpais and my disappearance. So I took this from it. You mean Yukiko, I guess? And what is this? I don't know what the hell this all is, though. So, how do you know it's a big clue? Uh, and you took it anyway? Yeah, okay, so Kanji's not the nicest person. Took the paper from Kanji. Several lists. Which one will you read out loud? Enka album chart, female announcer ranking, list of TV programs. Um, it'd be nice if I could see the list first. Let's see here. Enka album chart. Is that gonna be related? Doubt it. Female announcer ranking, list of TV programs. Maybe that's it. Mayumi Yamano, four eleven. Saki Konishi 413. Oh shit, this could be it. What are these dates? April 11th? I want to say that's around the time the game started. Oh, they found the first body on the day school started, so that would have been the 12th. The 11th is the day before that. I know I can't forget the day Saki Senpai's body was found. That was the 15th. Indeed. So then what are these dates? And what does list of TV programs mean? I do not know. I kind of wish I could see the other lists now and know what they mean. Maybe they're all going to be important, though. What's Saki Konishi April 13th? 
Death? Date of target? Um... Let's see. The day she was on TV. Her birthday. The day I met her. Well, it would be the day I met her. I mean, was it her birthday? I don't think so. It also it would be the day I met her if it was the day she went to the TV. It's the same day, I think. Um, day she was on TV. I see. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. Yeah, I saw that too. They were interviewing her because she found the first body. Indeed. Then this part, Mayumi Yamano, April 11th. Is that the day she appeared on TV, too? Oh, she was on. I remember now. That was when the affair hit the news. I see. So who's making this list? Oh, maybe it's the kid. The, the other guy slash girl who Kanj was talking to. Maybe he's the one who made that list. He, she's the one that made that list. That would make sense. Hey, wait a sec. Yukiko, didn't you get interviewed too? Indeed. When did that interview air? Oh, and Kanji was on TV as well. Uh, I think it was when I was absent from school. Um, it was the day after I met you at the embankment. I had my kimono on. Do you remember? Indeed. I remember. I went shopping that day, so... April 15th. Indeed. And right after that, I was kidnapped. And then for some reason, the kidnapper stopped for a while. That was the longest break. I guess he had to wait for the fog? But why? It seems like such a complicated way of killing. Also, I'm not terribly... Okay, now I'm no longer terribly mad about them no, not going to the police. It's just, I had a thought that maybe the reason, um... What's-her-face, the second victim, was targeted was because she went to the police, got an interview. It's just... Nobody's brought that up. Nobody's been like, the reason we shouldn't go to the police is X. No one said that. They've just been like, oh, they're incompetent. We shouldn't go to them. That's what's dumb about it. But if, if at least anyone at all had brought up, oh, we shouldn't go because maybe we'll be in danger because they might be part of the police or something corrupted. Like, if they did that, then I'd understand them maybe trying to not go, go, go to the police. I still think it'd be smart to contact someone in the police like Dojima, but... I could at least understand their thought process. Now I still think they're just stupid for not doing it. But anyways, I thought I'd clear that up. Anyways. Kanji, what about the television special you were on? Oh yeah, that thing. Damn show made my mom go ape shit on me and <laughs> The date, just tell us the date. Uh I don't remember the exact date. But it wasn't too long before I met you guys. Uh-huh. I don't remember that day either. It's true then. Everyone was on TV before they disappeared. There might be a connection. So you think the killer's targeting people he sees on TV? That'd be a weird uh, reason to target them. I was so caught up with the news reports about the incidents that I didn't notice at all. Um, it can't be coincidence. There's no doubt about it. Oh, what the hell? Talk about a butt thou must. I still think it's too early to decide that. So what if they all appeared on TV? It doesn't mean it, it doesn't mean uh, it's only four people. Um, like if let's say if we went through maybe 20 people and every single one of them had appeared on TV, then things start to look like there might be suspicion. But four people dying after they appeared on TV, it's not that weird. Um. Like, they both say yes! Can I not say maybe? I think for the first time ever, I want to say ellipses. Ah, yeah, there's no doubt about it. Now that I think about it, when the killer failed with Yukiko, they moved to Kanji instead of trying again. Maybe because Yukiko didn't appear on TV again? That'd be weird. But yeah, I decided when I started this run that I was never going to say ellipses. Maybe this being on TV thing is some stupid rule that the killer's following. Maybe it's a rule they have to follow. Don't think normal, think crazy. That's Phoenix style. Why would they have to follow that rule though? Because I can't think of any reason they'd want to follow such a rule, unless they're just a psycho. I think there should be a reason they have to follow that rule, for some reason. 
Maybe because they're coming from inside the TV, or they're related to the TV, or... Hmm... That's right. The killer could have targeted the same victim again. I think there's a definite connection here between the kidnappings and the TV broadcasts. It's a possibility. The victims weren't just involved with the first case. They were also shown on the mass media. Indeed. That must be it. I wonder if there's ever going to be a time where um, I'm kidnapped. Like, I show up on the news, and then I get kidnapped, and then for a little while, like, either A, I take control of everybody else without the main character for a while. That would be an interesting dungeon, because I wouldn't have access to the wild card. Or, I, um, well, and or, maybe I could uh, alternate, or I could take control of myself being all alone for a little while, trying to navigate my way, like, like try to escape myself, kind of. That could be interesting, if I have any personal demons. I probably do. I probably maybe either confronted them before the series began, the game began, or maybe I'm going to have to confront them later. But if so, what's the motive? Why kill someone just because they were on TV? Because it's fun? Question mark? Damn it. Now that I think about it, we haven't gotten anywhere. You know who might help with that? Why can't I be smarter? If you were smarter, you would have realized that you should have either asked the police, or at least realized a better reason why not to ask the police. Dude, why beat yourself up? I think you guys are awesome. Of course. I mean, you guys noticed what was happening to me and even risked your lives to stop it. Of course we noticed, because we're the only ones who fucking know about it. If the police knew about this shit, they would have noticed too. They might have been able to even catch the dude at the time. Like, oh, he appeared on the TV, but he hasn't been kidnapped yet? Let's monitor him all the, at all times, then. Uh, maybe that would make it too, like, hard to catch the guy, because then he'd be more cautious. And it would be harder to catch him off guard, but as things stand now, people are just going to keep getting kidnapped. That's more than enough. <sighs> you rescued me, too. Yeah, because once again, we're the only people that know about it. Because we're stu too stupid to tell the fucking police. Solved the mystery, but we've saved two people already. Uh huh. That's true, but because they're we're the only people who could. Uh, we're the only people who knew about it, even though we could have told people. Yeah. What's more, everyone's deduction that Kanji Kun might be next was right on the nose. Yeah. So. I know. We were so close! You know what might have helped with that? More people. More people who could have potentially protected Kanji. Or laid in wait for a kidnapper to approach. How could we get more people? I don't know. Maybe tell the fucking police! <sighs> huh? You knew before it happened? Damn. I wish you guys come a little earlier then. Yeah, we tried. And they laugh well, about it. We know this much. I think we can outsmart the killer next time. Then it's a countdown to their arrest. If we're gonna arrest them, we're gonna need the police. Um, god damn it. Outsmart the killer next time. You know what might help with that? More people. I just, I don't know. Like every time they say something now, it seems like I just can't help but think, you know, make this easier. The fucking police. Ah. <sighs> Don't forget, it's always possible that Kanji Kun was the last target. No, he's not. Or so we hope. We've thwarted them twice already. Here's hoping the killers learn their lesson by now. Unless you, I don't know, get somebody like the police involved to actually, you know, be a potential threat to them, I doubt they're gonna stop just because a few kids are after them. Anyways, let's keep checking the Midnight Channel like usual when it rains. I mean, I keep thinking of legit reasons to not tell the police. Like, again, you don't want to risk A, appearing on TV, that's a new one. B, um, uh, you know, because What's-Her-Face appeared on TV and did an interview before she was killed, so maybe there's a connection there. Like, maybe there's a, a leak in the police. Or even C, um, you don't want to alert the killer. You don't want to make them aware the police is on them or anything. You want them to think that they can keep doing the killings, the police knows nothing, and you'll you'll be working the shadows to catch them, and it's too risky to tell the police. That's another possible reason to not tell the police. Have you brought any of these up? Fucking no! You're just like, let's not tell them because they're dumb. They don't know anything. The reason they don't know anything is because we haven't told them anything. But hey, because we didn't find out with smarts, we found out by accident. 
That's how we found out. We're not like mad geniuses that they did that out. It's not like the police could be expected to do that. Like, fuck! Okay. Ah, uh, all right. That reminds me. The school campout's next week. I hope it doesn't rain. According to the forecast, it'll rain a couple days coming up. I'm not sure if it's gonna be on the campout though. It's for both the first year and second year students, so we'll see you there, Kanji Kun. Great. Seriously? School, huh? What a drag. <laughs> Look at that face. <laughs> Yo, mind if I order another grilled steak? <laughs> I'm gonna finish this one up while the next one's on the grill. We're uh we're going Dutch on the meal, right? What does that mean? Does that mean we all split it evenly, or, or I'm not even Dutch? I haven't heard that expression before. Is that an expression? Are we having a Dutch meal? Is that what you mean? Well, let's get going. I think our new teammate needs to meet Mr. Bear. What, we're doing that now? Huh? What's up? I wonder if Teddy will be into him, too. No, probably just Yukiko. And maybe the commercial girl. Fine, whatever. I'll go for something cheap like ramen. So you're not gonna explain what that means? Am I just too stupid? Uh wait, or should I get a takoyaki set? Man, I can't decide. Just get all of them. None of it. <laughs> None of it? Yeah, but you gotta stop being so indecisive, Kanji. That's your problem. Men or women, pick. No. What? <laughs> Why not? I'm sorry, did I miss a joke there? None of it. And it's just like, what? I mean, is there a joke I'm missing here, or what? None of it. Okay. So I guess we just decided for him. Oh, yeah. Now that you mention it, I kind of remember this thing. Uh-huh. Didn't think it was a bear, though. Yep, yep. Hey, why is it a bear? That's an amazing question. I don't know. Me neither. I've been wondering, too. Why are we humans? It's kind of cute. Oh, fucking hell, really? M mind if I pet you? Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? You think Teddy's cute? Is this bestiality? Or, or is this supposed to be gay? Or, or both? Or neither? Or I don't even know. No touching allowed, mister! You let Yukiko touch you. <laughs> and me and Yosuke have both pushed you before. Hey, don't give me any lip bear. <laughs> you like your mates to be submissive, I see. Uh, by the way, I've been wondering. You were kidnapped too, right, Yukiko-senpai? Huh? Yeah, it wasn't long before you. So, like, that means you came out to everyone too? Yep, everybody kind of came out. Uh, well, except me, of course. I don't have to come out at all. I'm perfect, apparently. Probably not. There better be a nega me at some point. I think there has to be. What was it like for Senpai? <laughs> hey, it's only fair. You saw what it was like for him. I'm sorry, but no, that's rude. I'm gonna tell him. If they don't tell him, I'll tell him. It was, she wanted to hair him. It was basically the same as you. You both wanted all the guys. I didn't mean to hit you so hard. God, Yukiko, I don't, I don't like this whole like, oh, I, I'm rude, but I'm nice, but I'm, I'm not a fan of that whole thing. My jaw. Like you act all abrasive, and then they're like, oh, I'm sorry, that was my fault. I mean, hell, if I didn't know any better, I'd say it was an act. I don't actually, I don't know for sure if I know any better. Maybe it's not an act, or maybe it is an act. Maybe you're a bitch. That's what I'm saying. I'll be more gentle next time. Oh, next time you hit him. More gentle? Oh god! He's bisexual! <laughs> what a pair of dimwits. Oh gosh. He likes it, maybe. It's true that she's not um, rude and, and brash like most people, even though that was a rude action just now. I don't know. Oh yeah! Here's a present from me, Kanji. It's to celebrate you joining the team. Funny glasses? Oh, so these are the glasses you guys told me about. Do they have the funniness? Hurry and put them on. They're probably the funny glasses. Huh? Sure, but hang on, aren't these different from everyone else's? 
<laughs> it, it looks perfect on you. <laughs> yeah. I feel like this gag died after the first time. Bringing it back. They better not do this every time. It'll get old. It's already getting old in my opinion. Man, so many of Yukiko's expressions still just look weird to me. <laughs> Damn, dude, it looks great on you. I had a normal pair ready for you, but Yuki-chan insisted on this one. She wouldn't budge. Yeah, real funny, you smartass. <laughs> Why are you taking it out on me? It's your fault, Teddy. Don't deny it. You can't blame Yukiko after all. She's too pure to blame. Blech. Give me that. Why don't you grab the uh, other pair of glasses that Teddy was holding? Even though it's the same pair, from the looks of it, or it still looks like it has a nose. Oh, so we had two nose pairs prepared. <laughs> Probably still Yukiko's doing. You took my spare pair. Hanji, you must really like those. Okay, that's a bit funny. <laughs> oh, my sides. I don't think it's ah ha funny, but it's a bit funny. <laughs> okay, that was funny. This is the real one. It wasn't easy getting it to you. It would have been even funnier, I think, if they did it like a three out, but no. Why the hell did you bother making a spare if it's more useless crap? Because <laughs> it's fun? Damn it! We'll get you guys for this someday. Oh yeah, I'll throw you guys in the TV! Without your personas! You're back. 